In this video I'll show you how to enable the debug menu within 7 days to die. First of all you're going to need two pieces of software installed, one called Reflector, and then you're going to need its add-in its add -in called Reflexel. Once you have uh, Reflector installed, go ahead and download Reflexel, and you're going to want to put the DLL within the add-ins folder for Reflector. So it'll look something like that. And once you have all that done, go ahead and start up Reflector. And use Framework 4.5. It'll show up a bunch of stuff here. Go ahead and bring up your 7 Days to Die install folder go into the 7 days to die underscore data directory go into managed and then take the assembly dash c sharp dot dll drag it over into the left hand window and then it will show up at the very bottom so go ahead and click the plus next to that and then for the assembly c C sharp DLL. Go ahead and click the plus for that. We're going to go into the dash reference here. And then what we're looking for is 012AA. Go ahead and click the plus next to it. Then on the right hand side, go ahead and click on expand methods. Okay, and we're going to go up to tools. And you may or may not have this on your tools menu here and if you don't go ahead and click add-ins click the plus go back into the add-ins folder select the DLL and hit continue then it'll show up in the list we're going to go ahead and want to click on Reflexol version 1.6 show a new window here and on the left hand side what we're looking for is 7H1AA go ahead and click on it and uh, this is the line we're changing right here. We're changing a, a value within that line. You can see on mine I've already changed the first value, but all of the developers are listed here by default. That way anytime they log into a game server or their own client for that matter, they become a game manager or a GM. So what we're going to do is go down here, it should be line number 5, offset 14. We're going to go ahead and click on it and select edit. And since I've already put my username in on this one, mine's already here, but you'll change the very bottom value, the operand, to whatever your 7 days to die username is. Go ahead and click on update. And then you want to scroll back up the list a little bit. You're going to right click on this assembly dash C sharp dot DLL. Go down to Reflexel. And then click Save As. And then you'll want to make sure you click on your assembly dash C sharp dot DLL file within your 7 days to die install. And click Save. And that's all you have to do. And if this pops up, just go ahead and click the very bottom one that says cancel and keep it delayed sign. This will have no effect on your game whatsoever. And that's how you enable the debug mode so you have uh, creative access within the game. All you have to do now is start up your 7 days to die client. And you go ahead and start you a new game. And once you're in game, go ahead and hit tab to bring down the console. And go ahead and type in DM, or you can type in debug mode, all one word. And you should see where it says debug menu on. And then from there, you can push your G button to fly around. You have Z.
can bring up the uh, creative window so you have access to all the blocks in the game all the items in the game you can spawn them as many as you want just drag it on your hotbar and if it disappears and you need more keep repeating once you're done with that just hit escape you can fly wherever you want holding shift will make you fly faster C button will descend start uh, placing the blocks down as you want there's some other features you could do there's escape where you can control the what day it's on all the way from 1 to 11 the time uh, the delay how long it takes for each second within the game whether savings on physics whether tickings active you can turn on debug shaders also if you need you want to go somewhere quick on the map you just right click anywhere on the map and boom there you go and that's the debug menu for you this will work in single player and there's a little more changes you have to do to enable the multiplayer in a future time I will show you how to do multiplayer debug mode that's it for now thanks for watching the video